commend this bill to the House. I call the Honourable Mita Rewanui. Tēnā koe, Mita. Tēnā koe. O te rā ki ora tata i roti i te whare. A ha koa rā ko o tira te wiki o te reo Māori te rā atu wiki. E te ka tonu ane ke kōruri hia tō tātou reo. Kore taku. Tūtahi o te motu i ngā wā katoa. Koe nō rā kai takai hau tū tēnā koe ki tēnā tātou katoa. Tēnā koe ki tēnā tātou katoa. Tēnā koe ki tēnā tātou katoa. Mr. Speaker. Um, well, I mean, it's obvious that the Labour opposition will be supporting this bill, and for obvious reasons. And those reasons are that the real work, the real difficult work that's required to bring a proposal like this to the table, uh, with all its uh, tentacles intact, is really the testing part for any, any government. Now, I was a little, shall I say, bemused by the Minister's contribution to the bill, in that he spent uh, something like 80% of his time uh, attacking the Labour opposition in terms of uh, our performance when we were in government. And that's why I need to make, well, I'm, I stand to be corrected, Mr Speaker, that's 90% of his contribution, and it only took three minutes. <clears throat> but I think it's, it's very important that um, uh, at times like this, with these uh, difficult uh, settlement bills come to the House that we acknowledge in full the part that all parties play in, in, in this level of success. Now, um, I was disappointed, if I did say I was bemused, but actually was disappointed in his contribution. You see, to get a proposal like this to the table requires a hands-on approach from the Minister. It does not require uh, continual interaction by officials to the point of nausea, uh, whereas the uh, claimant community has become absolutely fed up. We learnt that in our time as government and that's why under the previous Minister of uh, Community, uh, sorry, of Treaty Negotiations, uh, Attorney General General Dr Michael Cullen, a hands-on approach was required and uh, I think that everyone in the South would agree that once that approach had been taken, treaty settlements actually accelerated. I've yet to see, I've yet to see uh, a bill, a settlement bill in, by the, this government introduced to this, into this House that they actually started from the beginning. In other words, that they have walked amongst the claimant communities uh, in order to get a buy-in to, to their policies. I haven't seen that happen yet and I'm sure that the uh, member across the, the House, uh, Paul Quinn, of Ngāti Awa descent is familiar with what I'm talking about and what's required to make You're settlements, right. what, what it takes to make settlements a, a, a success. I, I think it's really, it's really necessary also to acknowledge the uh, huge contribution that the, the negotiating team of Ngāti Apa, uh, played in, in the, the success of this particular the bill. And Mr. Um, Mr. Speaker, I have... Uh, uh, echoed uh, uh, praises for them in this house on many occasions. They were a young team. They understood the importance of collaboration uh, when it comes to settling treaty grievances. They understood the, uh, the need for collaboration when it came to post-settlement arrangements. And so um, there are some people in this house who would think that the biggest problem that Wanganui had, had was the H in Wanganui. Well, I don't agree with that at all, but that's an issue that's important to them locally. Look, if, if, if that was going to the silver bullet for the ales of Mardim, I'd put an H in Tauranga, but we know it won't fit. But so, Mr Speaker, instead of making the big thing over, over well, uh, the uh, chair of the Māori Affairs Select Committee did labour on that point for quite some time, um, and that essentially was the major contribution from the government representatives on the Māori Affairs Select Committee in relation to this important bill, where the H in Wanganui actually fitted. Well, you see, Mr Speaker, put an H in it or not, I pronounce it still the same. Wanganui, H or no H. Now, the problem is not my pronunciation, Mr Speaker. It's actually the English language and the way it's, it, it writes the word Wanganui. But we've all to live, to live, learned to live with that, as my colleague, uh, the Honourable Parikura Horomia, has... Um, as echoed in this chamber this evening, and it's time to move on. And um, I think everything we need to say about this, uh, this bill has been said on, on over and over and over again. Uh, and it's now time for us to congratulate all of the parties involved and also the Minister of Treaty Negotiations, although he has yet to prove himself to be able to be engaged up front with the claimant communities. Still, that needs to be acknowledged that this is a major achievement for his portfolio. And um, I'm sure that uh, in the future he will still have many, many more challenges to, to confront as he deals with uh, um, uh, 
uh, negotiations groups, particularly from the Bay of Plenty. So, Mr. Speaker, I have no more to say in, in uh, relation to this particular bill. It's been a long, long journey for the for the uh, the Wanganui cl cluster, and uh, I'm sure that uh, along with many of us in the House, they're actually quite pleased that it's over. I noticed that the this bill was introduced to the House in uh, is, is it uh, September 2009. It is now. Uh, July 2011, you'd have to ask the question, well, what, why did it take, if this is such a simple bill, why on earth did it take so long? And you cannot blame um, you can, on filibustering at the committee stage because all the Labour opposition was attempting to uh, have clarified as whether or not the government actually stood what, the, what, uh, what was involved in the, in, the, uh, in the bill itself and that uh, this is an on-account settlement and we all need to, to be clear about what that meant and it's important that at the committee stage, which is what the committee stage is for, that we actually ask all those questions and if the, the, uh, the government or the minister in the chair cannot answer them, then we will continue to ask the same questions until uh, there is total clarification around what the on-account in this case means for this particular piece of legislation. So, Mr Speaker, as I said earlier on, the Labour opposition is very proud to support this bill uh, simply because that all the hard work out there uh, in the communities where the rubber hits the road was undertaken by the previous Labour government. Kia ora tātou, kua tira.